Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you had a fun week. I brought my friends Shaggy and Wooly with me. Shaggy and Wooly have been kind of not having a good week. The farmer asked them to clean up some sticks that they'd been playing with and they were too busy so they decided to do something else and when the farmer came back he tripped over them and he was not happy because they did not obey when he asked them to. And in our story we're going to find out about how God asks people to obey right away. Sometimes your mom and dad might say, I need you to pick up your toys or I need you to brush your teeth. And they really mean for you to do it right away. And sometimes we just take our time and we don't do it right away. And that doesn't make Jesus very happy. So in our story today, we're going to talk about that. Let me get my Bible. Now before I read the story, I want to ask you, did anybody do our assignment from last week and be a helper? Maybe you took care of a little brother or sister, or maybe you took care of a dog or a cat at your house, or maybe you did something special for someone, like your mom and dad, or your grandma and grandpa, or your great grandma and grandpa. The boys and girls that were at my house this week, they made a special picture and card for their grampy, which is their great grandpa, and they sent it in the mail to him. And he called me on Friday and he was so excited because he got a special thing in the mail and he has to stay in his apartment the whole time. He can't go out and it made him so happy. So if you forgot to do that last week, I'd like you to try and do it this week instead. Now in our story today, we're going to hear some really cool stuff about Jesus. So let me get our hands ready first. Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little pop, pop, pop. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. I open my Bible book and read, God loves me, God loves me. I have a different Bible book today, friends, and I really like this one. This one's called Tell Others About Jesus. Jesus' friends were so happy, they knew that Jesus was God's son. They knew that Jesus was alive, and they loved Jesus more than ever. Jesus called to his friends and gathered them. What do you think he said? Jesus told his friends to go over all the world. He told his friends to tell others about Jesus' love and forgiveness. And Jesus told his friends to baptize people and help people believe in God. And then something amazing happened. Jesus was lifted straight up into the clouds. Where was he going? He was going to live in heaven with God. Jesus' friends were so excited and happy, they started doing what Jesus said right away. Jesus' friends told everyone the good news about Jesus' love and amazing forgiveness. How many people can you tell about Jesus? Isn't that so cool? Jesus went all the way up into the clouds. Did you know that someday, Jesus is going to come back down to the clouds and take all the people who asked Jesus into their heart to go up into heaven to live with him. Wouldn't that be so cool? Sometimes when you're looking up at the clouds, you can think of Jesus going straight all the way up into the clouds, all the way up into heaven to be with God. That is such a fun story. But did you notice how God said, I need you to do this right away? And the disciples did it right away because what if they said, I don't feel like telling people about Jesus today? What would happen? Probably I wouldn't know about Jesus today. Neither would you because nobody would have told us. So that's our job. It's our job to tell others about Jesus and it's also our job to obey right away. Now I have a verse for you and this is it. Acts 1, 11, B. Now what we read today is found in Acts. And if you're a big kid and you know how to read, I'd love to have you read the entire first chapter of Acts because we didn't read the whole thing. And it talks about some more stuff that happens. It's really cool. It's a really fun book to read. So I would like you to read Acts chapter 1 this week. It's also found in the end of Matthew and, and it's mentioned in a couple of the other New Testament books. But the one that I was talking about was from Acts. And here's a verse that says, this same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. That's what we talked about. See if you can memorize this this week. That would be super good. Now I have a song for us, one we did a couple weeks ago, but it's a really cool song because it talks about God not being dead anymore. So let's try our God's Not Dead song. Are you ready? God's not dead, no. He is alive. God's not dead, no. 
He is alive, God's not dead. No, he is alive and I know he's living in me. He's living in my hands, he's living in my feet. He's living in the air, he's living everywhere. He's living at the church and he's living at the beach and I know he's living in me. No, 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 no. God's not dead, no. He is alive, God's not dead, no. He is alive, God's not dead, no. He is alive and I know he's living in me. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you did not stay dead, that you went up to heaven to be with God and that you love us and that you take care of us. Help us to be obedient right away. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening to me today, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye.